Lying has become just another tool in the charlatan's arsenal. In a speech at the Gotham Awards after Robert De Niro opened fire on Donald Trump. The former president lied to us more than 30,000 times during his four... Thank you. <laughs> ...years in office. And he's keeping up the pace in his current campaign of retribution. But with all his lies, he can't hide his soul. And now Trump has revealed his soul, at least as it pertains to celebrities who criticize him. Quote, Robert De Niro, whose acting talents have greatly diminished with his reputation now shot, must even use a teleprompter for his foul and disgusting language. So disrespectful to our country. He has become unwatchable both in movies and with the fools that destroyed the Academy Awards, bringing them from one of the top shows in the country to a low-rated afterthought. He attacks the weak, destroys the gifts of nature, and shows disrespect for example, by using Pocahontas as a slur. Quote, De Niro should focus on his life, which is a mess, rather than the lives of others. He has become a total loser as the world watches, waits, and laughs. History isn't history anymore. Truth is not truth. Even facts are being replaced by alternative facts and driven by conspiracy theories and ugliness. In Florida, young students are taught that slaves develop skills which could be applied for their personal benefit. De Niro has lashed out at Donald Trump before. I'm gonna say one thing, Trump. <laughs> this guy is, should not be president, period. It's not clear what set off Donald Trump about De Niro this time around. However, the Trump rant on True Social came just hours after Trump gave a speech in Iowa where the former president got ridiculed for a string of verbal gaffes, including one accidental truth. We've been waging an all-out war in American democracy. You look at what they've been doing. Yes, you have been waging an all-out war on democracy. <laughs> at another point, Trump muddled whether he was in favor or against Obamacare. We're also going to fight to give much better health care than what you have right now. This is a newer subject, but Obamacare is a disaster. And I said, we're going we're gonna to do something about it. I saved Obamacare when we got John McCain's negative vote. You know, he voted against it after campaigning for many, many years. He said, uh, thumbs down. That was an amazing night. So did you want Obamacare to be saved or not? Later in the speech, Trump gave a rambling criticism of current and former members of Congress because the lawmakers approved infrastructure spending for President Biden, but not for Trump. McConnell and these guys, you couldn't get it. Uh, he was not good, not good. Uh, you couldn't get it from him, and Paul Ryan was like this real, a real jerk, a real fool, like a stupid fool. But uh, these guys, they wouldn't give it to you. They wouldn't give it. And now they end up giving trillions of dollars to this character, Biden. And he goes around saying, we'll build a bridge. We'll build whatever you want, you know, trying to buy votes. But it's not working because... Trump's speech was weird, hard to follow, and all over the map. And yet Republicans like to say it's Biden who is having some cognitive issues. Remember, Donald Trump was just a few years younger than Joe Biden, so it wouldn't be a surprise if either man is slowing down a bit or not able to say things as well as they did a few years ago. But the mainstream media has largely focused on President Biden's gaffes. Until this weekend, when Trump's mistakes were too big and hilarious to ignore, Donald Trump confirms waging an all-out war on democracy. Well, as we've seen throughout the years, Donald Trump has an incredibly fragile ego. Plus, he has long kept close tabs on the news out of Hollywood and the entertainment industry. So maybe in the wake of Trump's widely ridiculed speech, the Robert De Niro broadside came at the perfect time. And so Donald Trump erupted, or perhaps Trump realized that his Iowa speech was getting laughed at. So to try and change the subject, Donald Trump latched on to a fight with Robert De Niro. Either way, in the MAGA world of Donald Trump, this was a very strange weekend. Of course, most of this is now going right over the heads of many MAGA voters and Trump lunatics. Over the past several months, the Trump supporters have underscored there is literally nothing that will stop them from voting for Donald Trump. The only thing that I'm going to say is I know that we need Donald Trump because we need world peace. Okay? The whole world depends on this gentleman can you explain can you explain what he has to do with world peace though i mean like when you say that just like elaborate is really what i'm saying well it's because his strength okay when he was president before what happened is everything shut down 
Everybody was peaceful, everything was good, everything was great. This man right here, he will shut the shit show down and he will make it again so that the world is a better place. And he has done so much for our country and... Um, like what? Like such as freedom um, with immigration and... Um, we had freedom before Donald Trump was president uh, and we had illegal immigration before he was president. Right, but I just think that his ways of, you know, pursuing this country within that is is far beyond what any other president has done as far as continuing the, you know, rights and laws here in America. So Donald Trump ranks as one of the best presidents that, in your estimation, or yes, better than Ronald Reagan. Mm. Possibly. Be Better, better than John F. Kennedy? No. <laughs> no, I love John F. Kennedy as well. But, I mean, Trump is definitely up there, in my opinion. Abraham Lincoln? Yes. He's done more than Abraham Lincoln. How come? I, <laughs> I just know more about what he's done than Abraham Lincoln. And I mean, Abraham Lincoln saved, freed the slaves, won a civil war, kept the Union together. Correct. Um... I just came all the way from California to New Hampshire for this event. Yeah, yeah, we hitchhiked all the way here. Yes, sir. Why would you hitchhike for Donald Trump? Um, because, you know, it's different. What can Donald Trump do for you or what has he done for you? Uh, homeless people, honestly, and dogs, lower vet bills. Mm, remarkable. And you can always find a few Trump supporters who cannot imagine living without Donald Trump as president again. If Donald Trump does not win, what do you what do you do? I hope that I'm gonna die. <laughs> you wanna die if Donald Trump doesn't yeah, win. I, do. I don't wanna live like this anymore. You like our country the way it is now? You know, not only is he for America, but he can save the world. Not just America. What will you do if Donald Trump loses in twenty twenty four? Time to pack up and move to the mountains. <laughs> Which mountains would you go to? Um, New Hampshire. Mm. Well, if you ask any American what they would want in their hideaway or isolated bunker to stay entertained, most folks would say a television or satellite dish or at least a DVD player, because these folks still love movies, even movies with Robert De Niro. <laughs> By the way, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, a Trump 2024 rival, has been ratcheting up his criticism of Donald Trump and appears to be gaining ground. I'm not willing to acquiesce to someone who embarrasses us. I'm not willing to acquiesce to someone who makes us seem small all around the world. I'm not willing to acquiesce to someone who is the worst of our public discourse. Mm. Check out that video at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.